Welcome to Yuri Experience and today I want to talk to you about starter sources. First, before I start, I want to apologize for the audio quality of the previous video. It was kind of distorted because I tried out new software and it didn't work as expected. I mean, I just didn't really think that the problem can be in that, which is why I didn't check it prior to recording and I normally don't have a lot of time to re-record, which is why I'm sorry, but this video's audio quality shall be okay or at least good. And if not, I will make it even better next time. I'm sorry if it is like that, but I think it will be good. I hope it will be good. Yeah. But okay, now let's go to the actual topic of the video. You know that I do think that good information sources are extremely important. I mean, if it's not your, if it is not your first video, you know that. I'm talking a lot about information sources, about how important it is to get uh, good information, to get qualitative information, to get uh, to have good information sources. And that is why I talk about that a lot, because that is extremely important to, in order not to spread wrong information everywhere, in order to spread good information, truthful information, at least as far as truthful gets. But is every source actually a good source? In my personal opinion, every source is a source. Even if it provides wrong information, it is still a source. Even if you don't really believe in that information, it is a source of information which you can put into your head statistics. That source is bad statistic and that source is not. That is why it is actually important to have a lot of sources. And I already touched the topic of the fact that not every source is equally reliable and you shall not believe each and every source equally. When I talked about trust table or however it was called, the description to the video or the link to the video is in the description. Anyway, yeah, today we are talking about a subtype of source which can be reliable, can be not reliable, but it doesn't have to be any of that. We are talking about starter sources. What are starter sources and why do I think they are important? Why do I think that they are everywhere? All about that in today's video. I will not tell you that there is an official definition that is a starter source or that is not a starter source. That is a definition that I've come up with today, prior to this video, literally when I wrote it down. Anyway, starter source, in my personal definition, is a source which provides you maybe not the best amount of knowledge and amount of knowledge, but that motivates you to get more information in more sources or in better sources. So basically, that is a quick, normally quick source with basic level of knowledge or basic understanding of the subject. Is it a good source of information? It can be, it doesn't have to be. Sometimes these starter sources are good sources. Sometimes they are like kinda okay sources. Sometimes they are bad sources, but they are starter sources. After that, you go to different site, different source, different person, different whatnot, and find out whether the information that you found in the starter source is true. By comparing, basically. You compare the information that you get from new sources to your starter source. If a lot of sources say that your starter source is wrong, then there's some probability that your starter source is actually wrong. You obviously shall not forget about the fact that only because a lot of people believe something, it doesn't become true. But on the other hand, yeah, that's typically how it works in a lot of occasions, especially if you get qualitative sources as a comparison to your starter source. Uh, for example, scientific sources. So basically, your starter source is a start point. Start point of your education in that topic. And after that, you will challenge knowledge that you've got from that, that specific start point. You will challenge it with the help of different other sources. What can be a good starter source? There are a couple of examples which I think a lot of people disregard way more often than they should, and other people do believe to these sources way more often than they should. Let me just explain it. Great, really good example of a starter source is any kind of social media. 
it doesn't matter what social media we are talking about, each one of them provides a hell lot of information. But at the end of the day, does this information always is this information always qualitatively good? Uh, no, not really. But that information can provide you like a trigger. Oh, that is an interesting topic. Shall I read more about it? Maybe it can be interesting for me or my development or whatnot. That is an interesting thought. Maybe I need to find out more about that. And then you read, and then you find out more about that, then you challenge your first source. And maybe thanks to this challenging, you'll find a good source on your social media, because not all social media accounts are equal. And I don't mean all social medias are equal, I also mean not all social media accounts are equal. That is the reason why I will never tell you that social medias doesn't provide good qualitative information. Social medias do provide that information. You just need to go through a lot of garbage. But that's actually how it works nowadays anyway, because we are living in the age of way too many, way too much information. You cannot live without being able to filter information and to look through a lot of garbage to find some gold. That's how our life works nowadays. And yes, sometimes you need to go look through a lot of one minute videos of women and men shaking their asses in order to get some good creative information about psychology or politics. That's how TikTok works. I know it. Another kind of funny source, which I didn't think a lot about it until I understood that this source covers actually a lot of social topics, are comedians. So each and every comedian is kind of a source of information and so each person is a source of information, comedians too, and in their programs, in their like... Uh, when they perform, yeah, in their performances, they are talking about a lot of different issues. Some of them are talking about real social and political issues. And that is actually an interesting thing. I mean, some of them also talk about science issues, but that's not the most of them, based on my experience. But it is interesting. A lot of people say that comedians are critics of current social life, which is why it is not the smartest idea, in my personal opinion, completely disregard their jokes and their topics only because they are joking about that, only because they are funny guys, clowns if you want. I don't agree with that word, but you know. I don't think it is smart to disregard their thoughts about that, because in a lot of occasions their critique is kind of very interesting. Like if you want George Carlin, talks about a lot of interesting topics. Uh, Evan Preach, they are kind of stand-up comedians, but they also have a social channel, so a channel about social topics. And these are just two that I know personally because I watch their comedy shows. I don't really watch a lot of them. But yeah, comedians can be a starter point. Maybe not the whole source. Again, not the whole source because that is literally just way too little. No. That can be a good starter point in order to educate yourself further, further after you heard about that. And the last one, the god of starter sources. The best starter source as it, that exists. It is really great and it provides a lot of information that way too many people disregard and way too many people think about this source information way too bad, although it is literally one of the best sources nowadays. Wikipedia. I know you probably didn't think about that. <laughs> Wikipedia is a great source of information. Fight me if you want. But Wikipedia is really great. It provides a lot of information about different topics, various topics. Sometimes if you can read in different languages, you can even read the sources in different languages and you will get even more information about each and every freaking topic. That's what I do when I'm reading different topics. Sometimes information can be really different depending on the language. But anyway, there's a hell lot of information. And a lot of that information is true. And all of these rumors about you can change something and it will be not changed back, it will get changed back. There are a lot of people that are working 
each and every moment to correct every wrong information that appears in there. Yes, they do. And yes, they do a great job. Still, I wouldn't go as far as to say that Wikipedia is a perfectly qualitative source. No, I don't. Because there's still <clears throat> just a lot of information and sometimes information is provided in smaller parts that it had to be, have to be. And a lot of topics are just bigger than the articles in Wikipedia. But Wikipedia, if that is a good Wikipedia article, provides its references. References are great. References are further sources where you can read more about information. It is a great starter point. You start on the Wikipedia article, then you go into the references and read all the references and then you understand the topic even better. And then if you are a really good person and a really critical person, I would say like that, you will go further and read even more information about the topic, but that alone is already great starter point. Which is why I think people don't acknowledge Wikipedia enough. Because Wikipedia is one of the best encyclopedias there is nowadays. And I'm not joking, I mean it. Why do I talk about starter sources? I think every source of information which you don't didn't know prior to that moment or have, haven't known prior to that moment, each a source is basically a starter source. Each source provides you some amount of information which still leads, leaves you with a lot of questions and answers that you can search for. <laughs> and after each source that you read or learn from after starting source, after the starter source, after each source you get more and more knowledge. But everything, every freaking learning process starts with a starter source. Being it your teacher, being it your parents, being it your book or some kind of encyclopedia or different or strange people on TikTok, YouTube or whatnot, everything starts with a starter source. <laughs> yeah, just acknowledge it, please, 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 please. And understand also that a lot of sources are starter sources, they're not whole sources. And acknowledge that not all the sources are qualitative sources and at the end of the day the amount of sources sometimes is even more important than the quality of sources but actually both of the things are equally important if we yeah. have. I hope you understand what I mean. That's what I want to talk about. Starter sources. Learn more, get qualitative sources, I believe in you. Yay! I think you know where is the like button, I think you also know where is the comment section. If you have any questions or topic suggestions, please write them in the comments below. Except for that, if you want to watch more videos about social topics, about my development, about self-development overall and about the development of the channel, please subscribe to the channel. And except for that, I see you on Monday. Yeah.